And they're, as you can see there, they're going to be moving on to the man of the hour as far as Hawaii is concerned. Uh, Marcus Mariota. Let's go ahead and excited. listen in right now. He just walked up to the platform, and standing with him is the GM of Titans, Rustin mm -hmm. Webster, and also the coach of the Titans, Ken Weisenhunt. Okay, they will be talking briefly. What happened prior to this? We were supposed to join you at 11:30 this morning. In the past couple of hours, the Titans have did, gone through their second pick, which is the 40. 40th overall pick for the NFL 2015 draft, and that's why this press conference continues to get pushed back and pushed back. But now it is Marcus Mariota's time. Fire away! It's been a long day for him. Any questions you might have for the crew? You get any sleep? A little bit. Uh, on my red eye flight from Honolulu, I was able to catch some some sleep. Did you have travel delays or? Here, no, not at all. We we were actually delayed a little bit uh, going into uh, Los Angeles, and then uh, from there we were soon. Where are you flying? Flew United. Yeah. How, how, how excited uh, to be here! I know you were here for a visit uh, a couple of weeks ago. Get your locker, get your uniform. What's this day been like for you? It's surreal, um, you know, a lot of excitement, and you know, to walk in the locker room and uh, to see your name up on the up on the locker was really cool for me. And um, you know, I'm just very, very happy and very blessed to be here. Coach, your coach talks uh, a lot about kind of your uh, spatial recognition or, or awareness or memory. What's that kind of mean to you when when you guys are talking in that? And what does it do for you as a player that you kind of have? Uh, for me, I think having the ability to recall information, especially at the quarterback position, is, is really helpful. Um, you know, it's a, it's a benefit to be able to, to recall uh, certain things, certain coverages, you know, during a game, during a series. Um, and then it's also for me, uh, in a transition process like right now, it's, it's helpful to recall information that, you know, it's kind of similar to what, what's being run here in terms of offense and system. So. Being able to relate the two and being able to learn that way uh, will help me in this transition. Ken said they had sent you some stuff before your visit. You came in and had some knowledge of it. Have you sort of been going over that stuff in your head since since last evening then too, and sort of replaying it a little bit? Definitely. Um, you know, it's a, right now it's an opportunity to learn as much as I can. Um, you know, I want to be able to come in and, and contribute um, and be the best teammate that I can be. And um, in order to do that, I need to be on top of my stuff. Good to see you. The first draft pick since you arrived, be a few wide receiver markets. Like said, <laughs> that's definitely a, a nice, a nice contribution for sure. Uh, we're we're excited about that. Were you about you know I'm sorry. Were you in the draft room? I was kind of in the process of doing some other things, but I heard, I overheard. We're not letting him in the draft room. Yeah, no, I, uh, <laughs> locker room, yes, draft room, no. <laughs> do you fly back out of here tonight, or what's your, how, how long are you on the ground here? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to head back to Eugene tonight. Um, I actually made a promise to a teammate that I'd make it back to the spring game. Um, so I'm going to head back there and then kind of hang out for a little bit, uh, kind of gather my stuff and, and make my transition here. Hey, Kim, what, what, what were you, you know, doing a couple of hours you have with him, but I don't spend much time with him, you get the draft for him, and you get him play with him. What all goes on during this cram period we can spend with him? We got a nice little to-go package for him. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, he's got some football stuff in there. So, uh, you know, that's the beauty of the iPads, and uh, being able to take that with him, and we can update it and send him information and talk. So uh, when he can get back in here the 11th of May, we'll at least have a little bit of a head start on that. Marcus, we're so used to seeing you uh, casual back home. You got the suit on and everything. Are you ready to exchange the rubber slippers for us in public? <laughs> Definitely. Um, you know, it's gonna be fun. Uh, it's a new experience for me, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Marcus, you've been so busy traveling, but with your meetings with the with the Titans, how much homework have you done on um, Kim Wilson Hunt and the offenses he was well and the quarterbacks he's worked with? I've done as much as I can, um, you know, in, in terms of you know, providing me with some information beforehand, um, you know, being able to look back on it as much as I can, um, just so that I'm prepared. And you know, I've done, I've done my homework, so to say, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to this next step. Have you ever talked talked with uh, Roethlisberger or Warner or Rivers? I have not. Uh, well, I talked a little bit with with Philip. Yes. Hey, um, did you talk about him at all? 
Uh, yes, of course. It was all good too, right? It was, it was very good stuff. Um, you know, Philip has, you know, has said many great things about Coach, and um, you know, said that this transition for me will, will be a fun one with Coach. You come from a program we won a lot of games last few years. This team's coming off a two and fourteen year. What, what, what's your sense? What, what, what is the essential element, I guess, to a winning attitude? Anywhere. Just starts with, with you know, at Oregon we, we talked about winning the day. Um, that culture for me is kind of instilled, and you know, I'll kind of bring that with me, and, and won't change who I am, and um, you know, hopefully provide some of that here. Um, but for the most part, just just be who I am, and get to know my teammates, and, and earn their respect, and uh, move forward from there. Mike, you've always been close, I guess, to the Pacific Ocean. I mean, how's it going to be being in the South, you think, and what's the adjustment going to be like being in this part of the country? This part of the country? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it's an opportunity. It's a, it's a new challenge. Um, and it'll be a lot of fun. You know, it's an experience that I haven't had before, and, um, and that's what's really cool about this, this profession. Can you tell us a little more about your, your family in Tennessee, who they are and where they are? Yeah, actually, I have family in Nashville. Um, my grandpa's sister. Uh, lives here, and um, you know I've been able to get to know them fairly well over the last few years. They've come to a couple of my games, and um, you know, be, it'd be good for me to have people here that I can go to and, and try. But change your your kidding about your parents because they moved here last night. I think. I mean, is there, is there a change statement? I was I was kidding. You can talk to them; they're in the back right there. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. You know, my brother's headed uh, to the University of Oregon, and. Um, you know, I'm sure my parents would want to be a little bit closer, but we'll see. Do you feel any pressure, being uh, the obligation to be the number one pick, call the franchise quarterback here? Not at all. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to this challenge. Um, pressure to me is, is when you're not prepared. And for me, I, I'm, I've prepared myself for this moment, and I'm looking forward to it. Anything else? Actually, real quick. Uh, Ryan Suko has said that he wanted to arm wrestle you for the number eight. Can I assume that you won? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Coach can answer that question a little bit. That was a pretty good little clip he put together. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Would that, were you worried that he might, because that was pretty impressive. Were you worried that he might actually try and arm wrestle Mario? Because he kind of needs his arm. It would be, uh, be the left arm for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Marcus could take him. <laughs> <laughs> From, from, a, from a league standpoint, do you have to let them know potentially that that jersey may be needed where you can start doing some things with it immediately when he's picked? Or how, how did that work out as far as putting his jersey on sale? Can you guys speak to that? No, that's just, um, you know, we, we made a decision once uh, Ryan agreed to allow him to have the jersey or arm wrestling for the jersey. Um, then uh, we kind of got things, got that ball rolling immediately. I thought it might be something that would be good. I thought he might want number eight. <laughs> How were you adjust to just wearing the standard uniform as opposed to all the outlandish <laughs> Oregon wear? I was, I was waiting for that question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm actually I'm a big fan of navy blue, so I'm looking forward to wearing that. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna put a little beat back there and get a lady to do it. Uh, and we are live in Titan Nation, as you can see right there. The man of the hour, probably the man of the year, Marcus Mariota. Think about this just for a second. And I first should say good afternoon to you. I'm Ann Sterling alongside Mara Yamada. Think about this with Marcus Mariota, what he is going through. First time he's meeting the head coach, first time he's meeting the owner. If you were going on a job interview or the first day on your job, times that by a thousand. <laughs> just arrived there this morning, right. too, from Chicago. So it has just been a whirlwind trip, no doubt. Talking about how he uh, had a little arm wrestling session to get that number eight. And apparently he won because that's what it says on his jersey. So um, what a ride, too. Talking about how excited he is, of course, to be part of this and just ready to get started despite all the pressure. He says he's tried not to listen to a lot of it for the sake of just being able to get engaged with the team and get going as far as playing. If you've been following social media at all, as ever since this has been announced, what, 24 hours ago now, social media, Titan Nation is really on board with Marcus Mariota. We should also point out here, I read uh, on the NFL.com had this up there, Titans head coach says he expects Mariota to be the starter for week 
won. They have a lot of one. hopes. Right. They know that he is qualified and he is good at what he does, and they expect him to be a starter. Yeah, his coach, coach is back in Oregon saying they have no doubt he is not going to miss a step because they've seen what he's done over the years in Oregon. And, uh, you know, just so impressive. Uh, he says he's going to be back in Oregon, by the way, uh, tomorrow Jet for a setting. function for his, yeah, for his, uh, a friend of his, and then also expects to be back um, getting ready to practice uh, May 11th. So coming up quick. But, we uh, will have much more coverage on this coming up today at 5 and 6 o'clock.